Okay, getting the boat ready for another trip on Saturday. Been doing some work, um, preparing a, a board to gut fish. And I've been wanting to do a review on this small little tool set. It's the uh, Let's see the brand Task Force right there in the corner. 20 piece ratchet set. And this set is being on this boat surrounded by water equals humidity. And it it's uh it's amazing that it has very, very little, if none, corrosion. And the only place that I had a little bit was at the tip here and I cleaned it with a wire brush all it needs is a little dab of oil and you can see there's a little bit here on the button but the the ratchet uh, it works the little set has impressed me I think I bought it uh, I don't know 20 bucks and for something that is that it's on a boat, which I got all the ratchets that they're more expensive, and they're suffering from a little bit of a corrosion, little rust issues. This little set, the Task Force, it's a it's a great tool, and it's very handy for me on this boat because I don't need to use the heavy uh, big gauge, you know, three quarters and such. Uh, sometimes I do, but most of the time. I use uh, the, this size for wiring and, and you know tighten up ground and that kind of stuff. So the uh, I recommend this tool set. I usually don't do uh, reviews on tools, but this little packet, this little set, has impressed me. Uh, no rust issues, and it works well. Uh, okay, just putting things back together here. Uh, an update on the carpet. I laid down this carpet, uh, which is very nice, but when I have the guys for fishing, I throw in the old carpet down. I never threw it away. So what I did is I cut it so if I need to go in the uh, fridge, just lift the flap and it swings right open. If I would have had it, if I would have put this on top of the new one and try to open it, there's no way I can tuck it under there. Uh, I managed to tuck it under the, the restroom table, I mean a uh, door. That works well. And I also, <laughs> I kept the old one too for the bathroom. Cause you know, when you're in the ocean, then I got one to protect that. And then I got the, the expensive one underneath. So to protect the carpet, you know, you're in a rocky boat and you want to take a leak and you want to be splattering all over the floor. So I, to protect it, I put the old one down and then I can take that one out and soap it and hose it, let it, let it uh, dry up. And that's it. Uh, I raised the uh, the back of the sofa here. Becomes a bunk, top and bottom. And most boats have a setup that you have like a rope attached to the ceiling. I never like that because you're putting a lot of stress on the, on the fiberglass here. This thing has a leg that falls down and goes down into the into the bottom uh, cabinet. And gives it a very, very, very sturdy uh, ride. You can lay there. I already had some some kids, 17 year old, but they looked like basketball players. Those guys were tall, <laughs> and uh, they were they were laying on top, one top, one on the bottom, and they were taking a nap because we were leaving at five in the morning, and they were all sleepy, so they were taking a nap before we got to the fishing grounds. Okay, so just a quick uh, review, 
on what's going on, what I'm doing. Uh, there's my chair that I bought and the little table. It fits perfectly under there. When I fold this piece down, it goes down, boom, and it covers it. Uh, another uh, update, I'm not, let me face this way. I'm doing more boating the hunting this year because the dry season has gotten so bad that the river where I used to draw water and, and go and backpack and stuff and stay there for days, sometimes a week. Well, that river is completely dry now. I talked to a buddy of mine. He went out there scouting. He says, I'm, I'm not going out this year, and I made the decision to do the same. There's no point in making the drive. By the time you get to the trailhead, it's about an eight-hour trip. So there's no point in making a trip and going hunting where the conditions are terrible. So I decided to dedicate the rest of the year to fishing, which the fishing is perfect. It's great. Uh, I'll take some videos of, uh, of fishing and uh, put them up on YouTube. And uh, oh, actually, I got some some pictures. Hang on a second. Okay, I got my phone here, and I've taken some pictures of some friends. Let me see. This camera takes pretty good pictures too. Okay, here's a buddy of mine with a bonita on one side and a barracuda on the other. There he is. Name is Jesse. This guy's been a friend of mine for 40 years. Here's a cooler full of uh, yellowtail. Um, very nice. Yeah, let me see if I can get it up here because I don't know if I'm aiming right. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, there's me holding a. That's about um, 20. Yeah, we waited. It was like 21 uh, pounds. Uh, yellowtail. There's Jesse with another bonita. Yeah, back it up a little bit more. Yeah, there's my uncle, Osvaldo. The poor guy was sick. He's almost 80, but he caught up a, a bonita. He was thrilled. And here's some of the things I've been doing to the Bora Bora New Antenna. There are my pups. Here's another batch of uh, yellows. All these yellows are between 15 and 19 to 20, I see 50 to 22 pounds. There's another bunch of guys that they just call me, they want to do it. They want to go out again in two weeks. Here's another cooler. I mean, I've been going out almost every weekend. There's this guy that uh, does his second jello uh, ever, and that was a 22 pounder. He caught the biggest one on the trip. And he also caught, caught a calico. Uh, I forget this guy's name, I'm sorry, but uh, he's real cool. He's real cool. Here's another cooler full of fish. Here's uh, Rudy. He was thrilled. He says, even if we don't catch anything, I just love being out of here. There's another bunch of guys cutting another bunch of fish. I caught this one here. This is the biggest one on that trip. It was almost 40 pounds, 36. This guy also, first fish ever. This guy had never caught a fish in his life. And he caught a, uh, the biggest one of the trip. <laughs> just when we were leaving, we were just turning around to leave. So fishing is great. The hunting sucks, but the fishing is great. Here he is fighting the fish, crying and complaining. Oh, my arms are killing me. Said, yeah, well, you got to get used to it. Here's, uh, what's his name? John. He knows how to fish. Look at the size of that fish he caught. He is thrilled. So, yeah, man, I'm taking a bunch of guys out. And, uh... We're going to do it again.
Look at that. They get bloody as hell, man. But they're good eating. There's another cooler. There's another kid. I think this kid caught two. The same size. That's his brother. So yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I've been working on the boat all this time, and I think it was time for me to use it for what it's for. It's a fishing boat. So, all right, guys. On the next one.